Hello, I welcome you all to a discussion named as the healing power of prayer mantra and meditation. I have divided my lecture primarily into seven sections. They are, firstly, I will try to explore the meanings of prayer mantra and meditation. Secondly, I will shed light on prayer as a complementary therapy. Thirdly, I will draw your attention to the healing power of mantra. In the fourth section, I will highlight different religious mantras and its role in healing the members of the society. Fifthly, I will explore the different types of prayer. Sixthly, I will highlight the concept of mantra yoga. In the final section, that is the seventh section, I will shed light on healing through prayer, meditation and rituals, which will be followed by a conclusion. Lisa Fradland, in her book, An Invitation of Prayer, noted that prayer can take unlimited forms. Prayer can be of song, of dance, of silence, of eating, of dreaming. It can be used as a means of communication with spirit, with the deities, with something or someone seemingly outside of ourselves or none of the above. In the relative sense, this can be understood as communication between two parties. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, prayer is an address to God or a God in word or thought. It is a set order of words used in praying, an earnest request or wish. Larry Dossey offers this insight on defining prayer. If prayer has its root in the unconscious, a complete definition of prayer can never be given. Prayer has meaning for many individuals. It is the most common form of spiritual ritual and is practiced by religious as well as non-religious individuals throughout the world. Virtually every culture prays in one form or another, especially during times of stress and at the end of life. An expression of the spirit prayer both influences and is affected by an individual's spirituality. It represents a desire to communicate with God or a higher power. B. M. Dossi, Kagan and Guzetta define power as one's being by the longing for an awareness of one's connectedness with the source of life are blended. L. Dossi offers this broad and inclusive definition of prayer. Prayer is communication with the Absolute. With a wide variety of forms and expression, prayer is part of many religious traditions and rituals. It may be individual or communal and public or private. Sometimes prayer is a conscious activity and at other times it is less conscious. Elements of prayer include speaking, listening and being silent. Prayer also includes adoration, confession, invocation, intercession, lamentation and thanksgiving. According to Ocean Karam, mantras are energy based sounds. A mantra can be a sound a word or a group of words which can vary depending on the philosophy associated with the mantra. But it has been said that mantras are capable of helping to create transformation. A mantra is a word or phrase repeated over and over again during meditation. Mantras are energy based sounds. Mantras create thought energy waves. One's subconscious mind can find its solution through meditation and recitation of mantras. A mantra when repeated constantly during meditation, first loudly and then through silent and mental chanting, changes the consciousness. Mantras are tools of power.
The word mantra is derived from two Sanskrit words. The first is manas or mind, which provides the man syllable. The second syllable is drawn from the Sanskrit word try, meaning to protect or to free from. Therefore, the word mantra in its most literal sense means to free from the mind. Mantra is at its core a tool used by the mind which eventually frees one from the vagaries of the mind. Meditation originated in ancient India about 3000 years ago and has existed in some form in most major religions and many secular organizations. It is often distinguished from prayer by the lack of directedness towards the divine. Because many individuals regularly practice meditation in a prescribed manner, it can also be considered a ritual and a process to spiritual transformation. Meditation is a learned skill. When practiced in a disciplined manner, it provides many physiological benefits such as stress reduction, decreased adrenaline flow, lowered metabolic rate, decreased heart rate, improved immune and cardiovascular function, relaxation and decreased pain. The regular practice of meditation may lead to new insights about life issues, heightened creativity, inspiration, greater compassion for others and a greater connection to one's own inner guidance. Meditation can be performed while sitting or lying down or while walking or jogging. Examples of meditation practices include mindfulness meditation, transcendental meditation and relaxation response meditation. Another type of meditation is moving meditation. Yoga, Qigong, therapeutic touch, Sufi dancing and negative Native American and shamanic ritual dance are all examples of moving meditation practices. Meditation can be an intensely spiritual exercise. To enter into a meditative state, the following three methods may be helpful. Breathing techniques, meditating with sound and meditating with visualization. Let us now see how prayer acts as a complementary therapy. Prayer involves numerous benefits due to which it acts as a therapy among the people. The benefits of prayer are as follows. Number one, prayer creates spontaneity in life. Spontaneity or improvisation is closely related to awakened life. Spontaneous co-arising is the process to describe the phenomena of the relative plane or physical world. Spontaneity can arise from within the body or external to the body. Practice becomes awareness of the natural spontaneity of our lives. Practicing with improvised prayer or improvised voice encourages the direct embodiment of the qualities in one's life. Number two, prayer leads to the acceptance of impermanence, being in the moment and accepting the moment. Impermanence is also one of the tenets of the Buddhist teachings. Everything is always changing and therefore impermanent. We could not exist without impermanence. It is by expecting or wanting permanence that we experience pain or suffering. Number three, prayer creates confidence. Without at least a morsel of confidence, we cannot do anything. So confidence is necessary to do it without wanting any particular result. Number four, prayer promotes fearlessness. Number five, it leads to non-attachment. A recent study defines formalized prayer as frequently rehearsed and rigidly performed actions and speech acts with improvised prayer as a non-institutional mode consisting of improvised actions and speech acts. This study shows that in comparison with formalized 
prayer, improvised prayer has a greater response in the following areas of the brain. The preneucleus, the temporoparietal junction, the anterior medial prefrontal cortex and temporopolar region. These areas are associated with social cognition and are known together as being responsible for the theory of mind. The theory of mind is the ability to attribute mental states, beliefs, intense desires, pretending knowledge, etc. to oneself and others and to understand that others have beliefs, desires and intentions that are different from one's own. Therefore, prayer acts such a medium by which people can be healed from their times of distress. One study by William and others try to determine the effect of prayer on outcomes in patients admitted to the coronary care unit. 990 patients were admitted in the CCU. During the time of their admission, patients were made to be part of a prayer group and the prayer group prayed for their well-being and quick healing. Patients themselves were unaware that a prayer group was praying for them. The result of the CCU course score was much lower for the patients for whom prayers were conducted. Therefore, it can be predicted that prayer indeed has the power to have an effective medical care. Various researches proves the fact that prayer acts as a complementary therapy. Mantras are powerful sounds. Mantras are the ones that have when chanted produce great effects. Saying any word produces an actual physical vibration over time. If you know what the effect of that vibration is, then the word may come to have meaning associated with the effect of saying that vibration or word. This is one level of energy basis for words. Another level is intent. If the actual physical vibration is coupled with the mental intention, the vibration then combines an additional mental component which influences the result of saying it. Mantras are single or strung together syllables. It is important to pronounce the mantra properly with an understanding of its meaning. Improper pronunciation of mantra can inflict losses. So, one should be careful while chanting mantra. By chanting a particular word or a phrase several times, your mind becomes quiet, calm and peaceful. So, this means your, your mind is able to transcend to higher divine thoughts. Mantra chanting can help overcome your emotional ups and downs and it is also beneficial in distressing a person. Chanting mantras or listening to mantras helps instilling positive thoughts in our mind. There is an aura of positivity and optimism that gets created by chanting mantra and helps in eradicating negative thoughts in our mind. It has been found that chanting mantras or even listening to mantras can reduce hypertension and lower down your blood pressure. Many mantras are said to have healing properties. By connecting to the mantra on an energetic level, it may be possible to reprogram the affected or diseased area and allow healing to occur. Similarly, the influence of mantra on the mind-body connection can also influence healing by creating a biofeedback loop that replaces unpleasant sensation with love and positivity. The subsequent reduction in stress and anxiety can have innumerable physical benefits.
there are different religions in the world. Different culture involves different mantras, achieve healing. The mantra displayed on screen is chanted by the Sikh followers. The mantra is expected to be recited for 11 minutes a day in order to get rid from fear and to bring about serenity in the soul of an individual. In Islam, the different mantras for its followers are Allahu Akbar, this God is great, Bismillah Rahman, Al Rahim, in the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, Ya Rahman, God the beneficent, Ya Salam, the source of peace, Ya Mutak Kabir, God the majestic, Ya Ghaffar, God the forgiver, Ya Fatah, God the opener, Ya Hafiz, God the preserver, Ya Sabur, God the patient. In Buddhism, the prime mantra which every Buddhist are expected to utter to promote consciousness and clarity of mind is displayed on screen. This mantra in Buddhism purifies one's soul and promotes bliss within one's self. It helps man to focus in their life and ac act accordingly. In Christianity, Yesu Christu, Hail Mary are uttered by the followers to bring about healing for the members of their community. In Hinduism, the Gayatri Mantra is the most powerful mantra of all. Thus, mantras have healing elements as each increases the energy level of the people, thereby helping them to heal fast. It creates a peaceful connection of the mind-body-spirit. It eradicates all the unpleasant thoughts and creates positive energies along with positive thoughts for a better life ahead. There are different types of prayer which an individual follows. Different situations many a times compel an individual to be involved with different types of prayer. A list of varied types of prayer are as follows. Prayer of Faith People follow prayer of faith when they encounter any problem in their life and finding no other solution, they resort to the superpower personified as God and entrust their faith on the superpower so that they can come out of the problem. Prayer of Petition People entrust their faith on God and demands for things in the form of a petition. It acts as a simple request which an individual makes to God. In the words of Jesus, ask and you shall receive. Prayer of Forgiveness when individuals realize their mistake, then they ask for forgiveness from God through their prayer. It helps them to remove the feeling of guiltiness and encourages them not to repeat the mistake later in their life. Prayer of Supplication This type of prayer involves desperately asking for the fulfillment of a wish. When petitions doesn't work out, people go in for prayer of supplication. Prayer of committal. When individuals go through a difficult phase of life and tries their best to come out of their difficult period, then they go in for prayer of committal. It is believed that God will take hold of the difficult situation and will bury all the worries, thereby re-establishing peace and happiness in one's life. Intercessory prayer. This type of prayer involves group prayer followed among the Christians by which the group of people prays for the sole cause of any one individual who is suffering a critical situation. It is on behalf of that particular individual that the group prays. Therefore, these are the various types of healing present in the society which are followed by the people at large.
Mantra is a syllable, word or phrase endowed with special power, usually drawn from scripture. Mantras are chanted loudly during puja to invoke the gods and establish a spiritual force. Certain mantras are repeated softly or mentally for japa or mantra yoga, the subtle tones quieting the mind, harmonizing the inner bodies and stimulating latent spiritual qualities. Hinduism's universal mantra is Om. Jap refers to the repetition of a mantra often while counting on a mala or strand of beads. It may be done silently or aloud. Japa is one of the ten niyams, the spiritual practices of Astanga Yoga, often performed prior to meditation. It is a major sadhana in Hindu spiritual practice. From the simple utterance of one or more names of God to extraordinary feats of repeating sacred syllables millions of times for years on end. Japa is recommended as a cure for pride and arrogance, jealousy, fear and confusion. It harmonizes the doshas and quiets the vitis. Filling the mind with divine sounds awakening the divine essence of spiritual energies in the physical body, Japa brings forth the Amrita. Doshas are the three bodily humors which, according to Ayurveda, regulate the body. Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Vritis in yoga psychology are the fluctuations of consciousness, the waves of mental activities of thought and perception. Amrita is the nectar of divine bliss which flows down from the Sahasrara Chakra where one enters the deepest states of meditation. Om is a universal mantra. Sage Patanjali extols it in his Yoga Sutra. The mantra Yom should be repeated while contemplating on its meaning. Then follows the attainment of inward mindedness and the disappearance of the obstacles. Sickness, apathy, doubt, carelessness, sloth, sensual indulgence, false perspective, lack of progress and lack of consistency are all distractions to the mind and are the obstacles. Pain, depression, trembling limbs and irregular inhalation and exhalation accompany these distractions. Patanjali speaks of 14 kinds of jap. This is daily, nitya, circumstantial, naimittika, the japa of desired results, kamya, forbidden, nishitya, penitential, prashchitta, unmoving, achala, moving, chala, voiced, vachika, whispered, upangshu, murmured, brahmara. Mental, Manasa, Uninterrupted, Akhanda, Non-Uttered, Ajapa, and Circumambulatory, Pradakshina. Mantra Yoga provides us a means to understand sacred sound from the perspective of a tradition that has taken it beyond mysticism into an organized and codified spiritual silence. Mantra Yoga includes a study of the qualities inherent in sound itself through which words and meanings are either properly shaped or deformed. It shows how sounds impact the nervous system, mind and heart and how we can modify them to improve our lives. Regardless of which background or tradition you may personally follow, the insights provided in Mantra Yoga can be of enormous value to enable you to manifest your destiny creatively, effectively and completely through understanding the power of the word. Mantra is a tool for connecting us with the spiritual wisdom and the energy of consciousness hidden in the universe as a whole. Mantra is a doorway to an awareness that exists beyond all limited bits of information or technical knowledge. Mantra summarizes an inner view of reality 
as a play of consciousness that can instantly comprehend the whole grasping the totality in a single point focus of direct perception and immediate experience the universe itself is ultimately an expression of a single mantra or vibratory sound energy mantra in the yogic sense relates to the prime energies ideas principles or archetypes of the cosmic intelligence that directs the forces of nature and the movements of our own minds and hearts mantra is part of a universal language rooted in sound image number and symbol reflecting a cosmic thinking beyond the perceptions and preconceptions biases of human thought mantra functions according to the inner mathematics of cosmic law it serves to link our individual intelligence with the greater intelligence that pervades all space extending our awareness into the eternal to chant a mantra at a deeper yogic level is to think with the entire universe and to access the wisdom and experience of all beings there are man mantric sounds that can awaken the higher potentials of the brain and change the flow of energy in the nervous system each one of us has a unique sound pattern that sustains all that we do and allows our energies to move and grow or stagnate and decline unless we learn to harmonize our inner sound vibrations our lives will likely remain in disharmony and suffering mantra is the most important tool for attuning our bodies and minds to their proper resonance which is not with the outer world but with the divine presence that constitutes our own deepest self all yogic paths use mantras and have special mantras of their own special mantras and chants pervade the primary yogas of knowledge devotion and service in which asana does not have an important role yet even in hatha yoga where asana can be very important mantra remains significant and is the main method employed to prepare the mind for deeper yoga practices The Yoga Sutras and its tradition of Raja Yoga emphasizes the role of pranayama which literally refers to primal sound and specifically to the mantra om as the main a means of connecting with the divine or cosmic lord Ishvara the primordial guru of gurus in the yoga tradition Just like the Upanishads the Yoga Sutras stress the importance of chanting and meditating upon om which is the essence of all mantras this means that mantra is the guiding power of yoga not just one of its many practices bhakti yoga the yoga of devotion centers on chanting singing and the internal repetition of divine names like nama shivaya or the hari krishna mantra as the best means of developing deep devotion and divine love in fact the word of the heart is always mantra nana yoga the yoga of knowledge focuses on prime atmic or self revealing mantras like soham or the great sayings of vedantic philosophy om is also important as the sound of the self such mantras are the foundation for the meditation and self inquiry practices that characterize nana yoga practice karma yoga involves an extensive performance of rituals like pujas and yajnas all of which have their accompanying mantras to empower and sanctify them it includes various forms of services to others which can best be performed while repeating a mantra unless the mind is engaged inwardly in mantra one may not effectively practicing karma yoga even when performing 
service. Hatha Yoga and Tantric Yoga use pranic mantras like whom to arouse the Kundalini and open the chakras. The 50 main Sanskrit letters form the petals of the chakras and serve to energize them. The Kundalini Shakti or the inner power of yoga is said to be composed of the letters or sounds of the Sanskrit alphabet and is primarily a higher mantric force. Kundalini is an electrical energy of speech at a deeper level of consciousness. The practice of yoga usually begins with the chanting of mantras, which may be mantras to the Guru, to the aspect of the Divine One worships, or to the higher self, in order to create the proper atmosphere for teaching, or mantras to sanctify the ground on which one sits. Mantra grants sanctity and concentration to yoga, which otherwise easily descends into another form of physical exercise or a seeking of personal empowerment. Leonard and Carison write, whether a person has long-lasting spiritual beliefs or is exploring spiritual issues for the first time, spiritual practices like prayer, meditation and rituals can help one cope with declining health and end of life in many ways. They can allow a person to express grief, pain, anger, isolation and need relieve pain, fear, sadness and guilt, find comfort and consolation, commune with your soul, connect with others, experience mystery, power and divine presence in the universe, celebrate achievements, mark changes, mourn losses, connect with your past, find inner strength, Draw on the strength of others, create order in chaos, find acceptance and peace. Therefore, religion and its associated activities like meditation, prayer, rituals do provide healing among the people. It helps them to be focused in life and concentrate for a better future. Thus, it can be claimed keeping the various research studies in mind that healing among the individuals are promoted with the help of prayer, mantra and meditation. The three dimensions are a chained up concept. Each concept is interlinked and interdependent on the others. That is, while doing prayer, an individual uses mantras and while doing prayer, the mind of the human being solely concentrate on the mantras and thus, they inevitably meditate while praying. Thus, praying is linked with the use of mantras and these two leads people to meditate. Various researches indicate that prayer, use of mantra and meditation involves a connection in one's well-being. Thank you. <laughs>